Which of the following bacteria is classified as gram-positive cocci? A. Chlamydia trachomatis. B. Rickettsia browaskii. C. Nsreaminonitis. D. Staphylococcus aureus. The answer is D. Staphylococcus aureus. Staphylococcus aureus are gram-positive cocci. Chlamydia trachomatis and Rickettsia prowaskii are both classified as gram-negative rods and Nsreaminonitis are gram-negative cocci. All of the following are gram-positive bacteria except Ash. A. Staphylococcus. B. Streptococcus. C. Salmonella. D. Clostridium. The answer is C. Salmonella. All of the bacteria listed are gram positive except Salmonella, which is a gram negative facultative rod. A sputum culture from a patient is described as gram positive cocci. What is the significance of the gram stain? A. The bacteria has no peptidoglycan cell wall. B. The bacteria has a thick chitin cell wall. C. The bacteria has no chitin cell wall. D. The bacteria has a thick peptidoglycan cell wall. E. The bacteria is actively multiplying. The answer is D. The bacteria has a thick peptidoglycan cell wall. The gram stain is a test used to help classify bacteria based on the presence of peptidoglycan in the cell wall. Bacteria with a thick peptidoglycan cell wall will stain dark purple, and are termed gram-positive. On the other hand, if there is no peptidoglycan cell wall, or a very thin one, it will show up as pink. This is termed gram-negative. This distinction is particularly important when prescribing classes of antibiotics, as the cell wall is commonly targeted by antibiotics. Which of the following patients are most at risk for contracting a nosocomial infection? A. A 75-year-old woman receiving chemotherapy for colon cancer. B. A 10-year-old patient admitted for abdominal pain. C. A 60-year-old admitted with pancreatitis. D. A 22-year-old mother in her third trimester. E. A 55-year-old man with an asthma exacerbation. The answer is A. A 75-year-old woman receiving chemotherapy for colon cancer. A nosocomial infection is an infection that is transmitted from one person to another inside the hospital or other healthcare facility. It is often a result of healthcare workers failing to perform adequate hand hygiene and standard precautions. Those most at risk for infection are those who are immunocompromised, chemotherapy patients, those with breaks in skin integrity, wounds, and those with invasive devices, declines, urinary catheters, invasive monitoring. Which of the following regarding pathogenic bacteria is false? A. Some bacteria have cell walls. B. Pathogenic bacteria may reproduce inside a host or human's own cells. C. Pathogenic bacteria may secrete toxins that make the host ill. D. Pathogenic bacteria contain a protein envelope called a capsid. E. Many bacteria do not have flagella. The answer is D. Pathogenic bacteria contain a protein envelope called a capsid. A pathogenic bacteria is a disease-causing bacteria. They may secrete toxins to make a host ill or reproduce inside the host's own cells. Bacteria may have cell walls, although some do not. Similarly, some bacteria may have flagella and others do not. It is typical for viruses to have a capsid, protein coat. Some viruses such as the human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, 
have envelopes, which makes it difficult for the immune system to detect and destroy them. Clostridium difficile is difficult to prevent in a hospital setting due to what feature? A. Difficult to culture. B. Route of transmission. C. Intospore formation. D. Poor sanitation management. The answer is C. Intospore formation. C. Difficile is an endospore-forming bacteria. While in the endospore, or dormant, stage, C. Difficile spores are highly resistant to disinfectants. This renders sterilization procedures less effective in a hospital setting and leads to a higher frequency of infection. While route of transmission and hospital sanitation are important factors in C. Difficile transmission, it is their endospore formation that gives these bacteria a level of resistance above other fecal oral species present in a hospital setting. Antibiotics work exclusively against ASH. A. Viruses only. B. Fungi only. C. Bacteria only. D. Viruses and bacteria. The answer is C. Bacteria only. Antibiotics work exclusively against bacteria. They are not effective against fungal infections, and they are not effective against viruses such as influenza, rotavirus, or rhinovirus, the most frequent cause of the common cold. Conjugation between bacteria is carried out via what structure? A. Cilia. B. Capsule. C. Flagella. D. Pili. The answer is D. Pili. Pili are short, hair-like structures on the surface of some bacteria. Conjugative pili can form a sort of tube between bacterial cells, allowing for the transfer of DNA from one bacteria to another. Flagella are whip-like structures that allows bacteria to move within a fluid medium. Cilia are hair-like structures found primarily on the surface of mammalian cells, but are also found on bacterial cells, where they aid in attachment. A bacterial capsule is a polysaccharide layer outside the cell envelope that does not take part in bacterial conjugation, and may secrete slime which protects the bacteria from the surrounding environment. Which of the following terms describes the form of asexual reproduction in which a single-celled organism divides into two cells of the same size? A. Binary fission. B. Conjugation. C. Mitosis. D. Meiosis. The answer is A. Binary fission. The process of asexual reproduction in which a single-celled organism divides into two cells of the same size is called binary fission. This occurs among prokaryotes and is the primary method of reproduction in bacterial species. Mitosis and meiosis are forms of cell division among eukaryotic cells. Conjugation is not a method of bacterial reproduction, rather, 
It is a method by which joined bacteria may transmit DNA, especially genes on plasmids that confer resistance. Which of the following is found in greater quantity in gram-negative bacteria than in gram-positive bacteria? A. Lipopolysaccharide B. Teicoic acid C. Murin D. Peptidoglycan The answer is A. Lipopolysaccharide Gram-negative strains of bacteria possess more lipopolysaccharide than do gram-positive strains. This higher proportion of lipopolysaccharide lies on the exterior of gram-negative bacteria's outer membranes of their cell walls. Gram-negative bacteria have significantly less peptidoglycan than do gram-positive strains, which accounts for their observable chromatic differences when using the gram stain technique. Specifically, this thin layer of peptidoglycan in gram-negative bacteria fails to retain crystal violet during gram staining, especially after iodine is added, which acts as a mordant. Subsequent staining with safranin gives gram-negative bacteria a pink or light red color when viewed under a light microscope. Teicoic acid, present in gram-positive bacteria only, functions to increase the rigidity of the cell wall. Murin is another name for peptidoglycan. 